Hey guys, and welcome to Ember, a new isometric RPG that seemed to just come out of nowhere. I actually just heard about it a few minutes ago, and suddenly I'm playing it. And that's about all I'm going in on. Domus, a world of peace where all races lived in harmony until one fateful night when the sky lit up. Embers rained from the heavens. Millions beyond count fell to the ground, their fiery tails and gleaming crystal slamming into the earth for what felt like eons. The people of Domus hid, fearing this terrible omen, but one race, whose curiosity knew no bounds, ventured forth. The Lightbringers felt the magic contained in these stones. The more they studied, the greater these fallen embers seemed. They were more than just beautiful. They were alive. And so a special bond was formed between the Lightbringers and their magical companions, the Embers. A bond so true, no other race could replicate it. Jealousy grew, and it led to war. The dwarves mined for Ember, digging deep into the earth where they had landed and hoarding all they could find. They sold them to eager elves and men who drained them of their life force, using their magical power for selfish gain and wearing the spent stones as jewelry and trinkets. Many forgot the embers were even alive and sought their beauty and the energy within. But not all. The monks of Radiance remembered the old ways, remembered the Lightbringer teachings and sought to save the embers from their terrible fate. For the embers had become part of Domus in more ways than one. And their dwindling numbers and looming extinction might herald doom. All. But the monks could not do this alone. To save the embers, they would need those who knew their secrets. They would need to awaken the greatest light bringer Domus had ever known. The ritual should have worked! So I'm playing as the Lightbringer, and they've wo they've woken me up presumably to save the world. Click on the ground to move around. Instead of clicking, you can also draw drag a line from your character, and dragging uh, dragging to the open ground will drag. You know, blah blah blah. Yeah. We can we can move. We can, it's fine. It's basic movement. Oh, the ritual worked. I I should not be surprised. I'm going to multiply my devotions to the goddess as soon as we get back. Now then, we need to find our way out of the burrow as quickly as possible. There are many horrors here. Who are you? Corin. I'm an apprentice monk. We need to resurrect you. Or we needed to resurrect you. I'm loath to speak more now. I don't know who or what may overhear us. We'll talk more later then. Let's find our way out. So I, you'd best be armed. May I give you a sword, a bow, or a magic wand? All right, so I can be a, a this, is our, this is our basic setup of being a melee character, a ranged character, or a wand user. I'm presumably a spellcaster. Uh, let's try, let's find out what, how this game handles bows. Here then, let's both pray you remember how to use it. Thank you, where are we headed? To the monks in Radiance. The head monk is... is Sirma. He'll explain everything. I locked this crypt behind me. With his key, to discourage the thieves. Would you please unlock the door? Let's leave immediately. I hope some of the thieves left. Or thinned their own ranks for us. Oh, do I just walk around now? Okay. I was, I was looking for an, an option to, like, leave the... 
the, the, the conversation. Alright, we can zoom out. Oh, we can zoom quite a bit in, actually. Like, right up in there, and the, at, at a distance that'd be... Ah, uh, useful if you try to click on something specific, but mostly a little... ...difficult to manage for movement reasons. Is he gonna follow me around? Yeah, he is. Seems to be in a party with me. Oh, I thought this was gonna be a skill sheet. These are all- these are different screens, like there's my inventory, character sheet, level 1, 13 armor, my journal about getting out of here. Interesting. Yeah, I thought those were gonna be where they put all my skills. Do I get to just murder a rat? <laughs> Let's make sure I'm using my bow right now. We're wearing ancient rags. The ceremonial robe has been reduced to a heap of dusty rags. It proves- it provides little protection. <laughs> also, you're basically naked, so congrats, I guess. So we are playing as the Lightbringer. You could change the name, but I just stuck with the default, which was just Lightbringer, which... Fitting enough. If everyone's everyone's gonna want to call me that anyway, inevitably. Hello. Some coins. And some treasure. If I hit tab, there we go. Tab makes actual items show up on the screen. I'll probably want to toggle that off sooner or later if we start getting overwhelmed by it. Some item options. Oh, even these corpses have money. Interesting that a crypt, for some reason, has a bunch of exposed corpses everywhere. Oh, there's some stuff up here, actually, too. So, tab makes items always visible, but they're not visible at any real distance, just right next to you. Got a strange key. Let's make our way over to that other crypt key, strange key. Found near skeleton in the barrels, so not, not, not allowed to get from that. Uh, detail-wise for now. This, these are all supposed to be treasure types. Okay. What's this one say over here? Guide to scavenging. Items near you glow and sparkle. Mouse over them to see the name. Oh, wait, uh, to always see names. Hit tab. Take note of the question mark button and the quick bar at the bottom of, uh, the, of the screen. This toggles query mode, which allows you to pop up information window about any item or character by putting mouse over it. Oh, nice. That's actually a nice touch right there. You can drag items into your inventory or move them to the world. Let's try the query mode. Let's click on this guy. I can't click on that guy. I click on Cohen's Corin's journal. But that doesn't do much. Right, okay, so right now query mode mostly just makes the screen show up. Alright, so we have Corin's journal. I leave this travel journal for my sister, Cora, in case I die in this cursed place. Day one. I departed Radiance at night before my brothers rose for morning prayers. I fear the forest when it is dark, but that was the only way I could leave unnoticed. Day two. My journey through the northern forest has been surprisingly uneventful. Nary a soul in sight. While the strange noises make me jump at every shadow, I have yet to see anything more dangerous than a rabbit eyeing me suspiciously. Day 4. Finally, the deep barrow's entrance is in sight. I dare not go it I dare not go in yet. I must bolster my resolve with a good night's sleep and a large amount of wine. Day 5. The crypt have the uh, crypts have been overrun with thieves and giant spiders. However, I have managed to slip my mostly uh, slip by mostly unnoticed as they are busy battling each other. My combat training as a monk has served me well in the few times I have had to defend myself. I am now in the Lightbringer's Crypt. His sarcophagus is thick with centuries of accumulated dust and cobwebs. It is now time to enact the ritual. I can take it? Now it's in my inventory. I have taken it forever. No one can have it again. This, this really specific journal that no one has a reason to care about. Here we go. Go ahead and open you up. So, oh yeah, you can see some thieves off in the distance, and we should be expecting spiders, apparently, to top Please that off. Let them be gone. Please let them be gone. Uh, I hate to break it to you, they're not gone. Oh, this is probably what I just got access to by getting that one chest earlier. I mean, the, the key. Guide to combat. Combat in Ember is in real time with the ability to pause using the button on the quick bar at the bottom of the screen. While the game is paused, you can select combat targets or set new positions for party members. Actions will be carried out after you unpause. To assign a party member's combat target, simply draw a line from them or, uh, or from their portrait to the enemy. A... Small encounter will appear. A uh, small, I'm sorry. A small icon will appear above the enemy's name to indicate the party member is now targeting the enemy. They will continue to, uh, attacking the target until you give them another order, or the target dies. I'm curious about that. Is this what? You, oh, this is what you meant by draw a line. We had to start at the character themselves. 
Interesting. Okay. Worth keeping in mind. Thank you. How are you guys feeling for a fight? And I've got it enabled to auto-pause whenever a fight starts. Yeah, just to make sure we're aware. So we have Garal and two thieves. Let's tell Corrin to attack this thief, while Lightbringer focuses on the leader. As of right now, I don't think we really have special abilities, so I think just we go as go. So it's paused by this. That's the quick bar. Where's the pause button? Is it game menu? There's a, it's on pause right there. I'm curious. There's gotta be- there we go, space bar. There had to be a hotkey for it. Oh, gotta finish him off real quick. Almost there. Got him. I momentarily forgot that I am, uh, already have a- I do already have a bow, so it would have made the most sense to immediately focus on... ...the same target. Got a dagger? Some hot- hey, a little armor. That's probably a good start. So C is character. There's I. How about... There's an inventory character sheet. Right, okay. So this short bow is 22 to 36. Probably the same as mine. Yep. But we got some armor. Ragged hide armor, plus four. Yep. That'll be an, an improvement right there, so let's go ahead and put that on. I can't put a shield on, can I, with the... Yeah, it takes off my bow. As you'd expect. I can put an amulet, a ring, or a helm on it after that. How about our other party members? He has ragged hide armor already. I can give him a shield. He's using a sword right now. Yeah, let's do sword and shield. Boom. More defended, just like that. All it took. Alright, this will be interesting once I get some more actual skills. Because right now all I do is auto attack things as far as I can tell. But that's a start. So we can pan the camera, but not very far. Only about this far along. That appears to be the exit. Of course I want to explore. Oh, well. I'll explore in other directions. And we have wolves. Alright. Corrin, attack this wolf. Lightbringer, back off just a little bit. There we go. Double team the same target means he'll go down nice and fast. There we go. Just making sure we're target targeting the same people when I want us to. There we go. Nice and concise. God, this is exhausting. So my curiosity is what skills do you have? We have quick slots. We need to figure out how skills work in this game. You think that he would have a few things to use, or maybe that's just a future tutorial that I haven't come up on yet. Got a health potion. That'll help. Poor damaged Corin. We'll see if another fight actually happens, though. Jaron. Jaron's journal. I can't stop the bleeding. I had no idea there would be thieves down here. My job was just to come here and scout the area for altars. Rail from Radiance told me to return if I had found any. However, I don't think I'll be going anywhere. And now he's dead. And I took his note. <laughs> Not for a... I don't think I have much reason to, but hey, maybe we'll find the person he was trying... that he was on the, sent on the mission for, and I can, like, give them evidence of what happened to him. Or maybe it'll just in in clutter up my inventory. I am a straight-up grave robber right now, aren't I? <laughs> like every true dungeon crawler. Nope. Skeleton. Wow. Decent chunk of coins. Although I don't know, actually know yet what to expect coins this to be worth. Was a shrine before the barrel was sealed. So this was a shrine. Seems to be what he was looking for then. Ultra the blue. Jembe. Oh, it's the... It's just the, uh... The drums. So I can't use the altar of the blue, unfortunately. Interesting. There's little glowy bits. Seems like this whole... Aha! Looting the offerings from a shrine. Let's piss off some gods. Won't that be fun? That might be about all we're gonna find for now until I f have the ability to use shrines like that. That must be a future mechanic. Guide to getting dressed. Uh, let's see, click the shield on the quick bar. Yeah. 
As you use the health potions you looted to heal your party, you can use them from your inventory or drag them to the blue slots in the quick bar for easy access. Potions can be used at any time, even during combat. Okay, so now... That means I can even wait for combat, then... Uh, we have four of these so far. Might as well pop them down there. Alright, let's get out of here. I'll heal if we if we actually need to, but we'll see if there's many fights coming our, our way. Looks like there will be. Oh, this poor guy's in danger. Alright, let's drag this to your portrait. Doesn't work that way. Drag it to... What happens if I click on it? Oh, there we go. That's how you heal people with potions. And is there... It seems like there might be a cooldown to when you can use the next one, then. There's a little circle right here. You can hide and show the party interface, and you can hide and show the quick bar. Interesting. Some big open area. Alright, let's go investigate the, uh... Dying guy over here. Oh, Riven's friendly. Who's there? Have you come to watch me die? I don't think you'll be waiting long. What were you doing down here? Working for Johan. Down here to do some grave robbing. Or so we thought. Always on the lookout for those shiny embers of or ancient armor. But we got more than we bargained for, I think. How were you injured? Damned crazy giant spiders? That's how. If you're driving mad by something down here, or been driven mad by something down here, uh, we come down here, start opening crypts, and the next thing you know, these eight-legged freaks are everywhere. No man should die like this, gods help me. Wow, one of the first options I, I have is, do you wish to end your, me to end your suffering? I, can I not exit the conversation? No. I already said why are you down here, right? Yeah, great robbing. Okay, uh, do I, I have no time for this. Do you wish me to end your suffering? Not for me, no. Poison's just about done its work. But my dog, Riven, he's fought so bravely for me. He killed the last spider, but it poisoned him. It's driving him insane. Could you put him out of his misery? He deserves better than becoming just another monster. I have, I mean, I, I don't have desire to harm the dog. Can we f cure the dog with, can we cure both of you with, uh, anything? I don't have I, do, I have no desire to harm the dog. Oh, he just straight up died. No, you don't understand. He won't be a dog much longer. The poison changed him. Oh gods, the pain's too much. And he's, he ain't dead. We could always talk instead. And, he t and he attacked us now. Alright, so we're fighting the dog either way. This, this is not a let's go find a cure situation. Dog immediately went crazy. Gonna be okay here? Yeah, we're fine. Oh, they use that stock sound of suffering dog noise. Ooh, he's got a cleaver. And I just skinned Riven. <laughs> Took his entire pelt. Only moderately concerning there. That's... It, it's, it's, he served that guy well. Fought to the death. Now I have his skin. It's mine now. I'm taking it home with me. Ranged attacks. Good time for an ambush. Yeah, at this point, I don't think I actually have to do much during combat. Even my attempts at micromanaging who I attack is prob are probably largely unnecessary until we get actual skills and varied party members where we can do things. Oh, okay. A little bit of money here. Got some amber. A loading screen told me that anything listed as yellow is basically trade goods you sell for money. So that's what that's the good of stuff like amber. So here's the map. Can the map zoom in? Oh, we can advance time. Oh, there's the map. Whoa. Not a small area, is it? Okay, well, since we immediately have a full map, that gives me way more to go on then. Cool. I was worried about having to wander around aimlessly, but that actually really narrows down what my options are for moving around in here. What's this? Stupid Orkin. Take my book. He right. was never Oligar's friend. Oligar should have never left library. Friend? Yes. Leave me alone, stupid human. Why are you so angry? 
Ogre does not want to talk to you. Then I will leave you be. Leave, human. Oh. Uh, he smells like rotten fish. Maybe he'll be our new best friend. Let's see. There's fish bones and planks everywhere. Can you use a campfire in this game? Is that noteworthy? Oh, that's a lot of, a lot of random gold everywhere. He seems to not be interested in stopping us. Food seasoning. Some raw fish. Mead. I just took all the stuff around him and he doesn't seem to be concerned about that. Ooh, you can cook things. So if I cook raw fish and some raw steak and add some food seasoning, what's gonna happen? Craft. Oh. What about just steak and seasoning? You made a steak! Ta-da! Congratulations, you know how food do have. What do you want? Sorry. Uh, he smells like rotten fish. So I'm curious if I can give him food to make him feel better about the whole situation. Got you a nice steak, Olgar. They don't want that. Well, fine then. You take the steak. How do I... Oh. I think it gave me bonus strength. Interesting. I was trying to hand it off to people, but didn't quite pan out that way. Is that a book over here? Nope. So I'm, cu I'm curious whether I have a weight capacity of any kind. I have an average damage, a crit chance, XP. We also seem to be in combat immediately. Ah, uh, good, good time to get a drop on these nasty spiders. While they're fighting a thief. Now, and then we go after his wolf. Yay! You should run. Do you think that will happen a lot? Oh yeah, I think that's gonna happen a lot. Welcome to the genre, new buddy, who may or may not be a permanent party member or might be one of those people that, that is just for run for the prologue and then immediately dies and is replaced by replaced by somebody that has a more defined personality. Not trying to sound cynical, just, you know, I'm used to it. <laughs> I'm used to the short-lived uh, tutorial companions. Hey there. Aha. So our early options are limited, aren't they? Okay, well this will yeah, this will force me to go a certain way a little bit more. Can I use this stuff over here? No. I'm surprised how often there's glowy stuff on the ground that I actually that it's actually not like something you can pick up. I don't think I have much interest in grabbing planks unless I want to spread a fire perhaps. We'll see. It might be more, more worth picking up at some point. I might learn something new about it. That is a chest. But are there also Spiders to worry about. Let's go ahead and give you another potion. We're actually picking them up fairly frequently. The Mace of Speed. One-handed. Double strike. Oh, do you get skills from weapons then? Costs you, uh, medium, uh, energy. It's double strike. Attack twice in quick succession. It requires base strength of two. Alright. Let's go ahead and put that on my second character. Since he's a melee character, he could probably use a mace of speed. So you go enjoy that. Did it just give you so much more health that you're, we actually visibly watched your health go down? Interesting. Quick secondary heal. Um, now the curiosity is how do I get to... How do I reach your skill exactly? Map, inventory, character sheet, journal. Character sheet's where I would go first to try to find this kind of thing. Interesting. If I put you on this bar... No? Oh, interesting. Uh, his skill shows up on his underneath his uh, character, so we use these buttons to control our characters, apparently. That's not what I expected. Is anything here alive? Is it all dead, dead things? Yeah. Alright. Fine. What's this book say? Guide to Special Abilities. Special abilities are granted to party members by equipping gear found in the world. Loot the chest next to the pedestal to find a weapon that grants a special ability called Double Strike. Equipping the weapon, then... Uh, uh, equipping the weapon, then using the skill makes you attack twice in a row. 
special abilities appear as buttons underneath the party's health, uh, party member's health bar and energy bars in the interface at the top of the screen. Use an ability on your current target by clicking its button, or you can drag a line from the button to a new target. Using special abilities costs energy, which can only be replenished with the potions by resting. Uh, you can pause and queue up abilities and use uh, to be used after you unpause. So you have to rest to regain power. your energy. It doesn't just come back. Although, they did just give us these energy potions. A small amount of energy. Alright, they seem to not be super into numbers and like to say stuff like, A lot, or a little, and so much, like so much, man, like even so much. But not actual numbers like 12. Boy, I <laughs> involved in that. Oh yeah? I'll show you what to get involved in. There's the double strike. That worked well. I shall need to sharpen my blade after that tussle. You're gonna have to sharpen your blade after that tussle, he says. Do we have durability in this game? I see no mention of durability. Also, he's not using a blade, so that doesn't quite make sense either. He's using a hammer, so... Contextual dialogue was not very contextual. <laughs> this corpse doesn't... is not interactive. The giant spider fighting thieves. Let's focus on the, let's focus on the spiders since the thieves currently losing. Nice feature, Davy. Uh, I like the, the detail that they're introducing uh, faction-based combat this early in the game. That's kind of cool. There we go. So a, a lot of games have this nasty tendency to make every single person in the world only attack you. Agreed, mate. I've read plenty of books on my neighbor fight. Nice double attack to put put us yeah ahead at first. Oh crap! Giant spider. Let's work on the giant spiders. There we go. Double strike. Okay, we're doing fine. Oh, I'm still alive. Really heavy on loot right now. Have to find a merchant for all this stuff. More coins. Here we go. Got the got the vaguest pillows of eternity and uh, divinity original sin vibe. So I figured I'd give this a shot, but it's a little heavier on loot than I was expecting. Dear Lord, hey, you want every single option of item? Oh, we're in combat now. Uh, giant spider is right there. Double strike. Got him. Anyone have any healing potions? We're working on it. Just give me a moment. The important thing is that we're rich now because we grabbed everything. Or at least I'm rich because I have no concept of being able to tell. Guide to a good night's rest. Be sure to pick up the bedroll next to this pedestal. It will be added to the other filter in your inventory. Using the bedroll will restore the health and energy of your party, and possibly increase your XP boost. What's XP boost? The XP earned from defeating enemies is increased by this boost. You gain XP boost by sleeping. The longer it has been since you last slept, the greater your XP boost gain will be. The boost decreases as you defeat enemies. To uh, keep your XP boost high, you need to sleep regularly, but not too often. If you click on the time of day display under the radar in the lower right, you can wait until morning or night without sleeping. This will not affect your XP boost, but will also not regain health or energy. So we have two ways of passing time, one by sleeping with this bedroll and one by clicking advance time. I'm curious whether bedroll is something we can you we need more than one of? Huh. Cuz uh, conceptually, it's like it's if it's just a bed roll, you could just totally just use, you know, use the same one over and over again. But as a video game consumable, there's a slight question of, hey, maybe this is something I can only use once and I have to keep buying new ones. Like the tents and I am Setsuna. That's a lot of wolves. Let's get them. Oops, I did not attack apparently. My bad. Let's, let's, let's counter fight. Let's counter fire against the thief. There we go. Everything's fine. I need, be, I need to be more careful about my enemy selection. Making a few mistakes selecting enemies where I uh, accidentally click on the ground near them and start walking towards them instead of uh, shooting them from a distance. 
I'm trying to be fast about my input, and it's not quite working, so I really should just hit the pause button and carefully select my select my enemy without wasting any time. That would be the smart thing to do. I have heard tell of these ancient alcoves. Do not touch that book. It is cursed. Don't touch that book, you say. Now that I have a save, I'm touching the book. You've received one vitality. Book of Vitality by Anonymous. Long as the road stranges the journey, night follows day, your feet grow weary. Thy sword grows so heavy, thy arrows fall short, steel yourself against the growing wind. March on through all things in your way. Bow your head to none. Sleep when you are dead. Vitality is what you seek when you think you can go no more. Energy is what you find when you fall to the floor. Power lies within, from thy fingers to thy core. Hi, everybody. We'll be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Just double strike. Yeah. We got special abilities just for this. Oh, that's a wizard over there. I want to focus on him for a moment. There we go. Everything's fine. Just, a, just using the, a lot of double strike here. Just to make the... There we go. It makes the fight go noticeably faster, which clearly puts us in a better spot. Poor guy keeps saying he's exhausted. Well, I've got some potions to spend. It's interesting we don't even know what our character looks like, because they're under a mask. They're the Lightbringer! They're the Chosen One! So much so that, like, it's actually kind of neat how they're masked and alien and distant. Because it, it kind of makes that whole Chosen One archetype just a little bit weirder. Whereas otherwise it would be, uh... It's always like some random schlub that always picks up a relic and then I'm just, uh, magically gets thrown into un unlikely scenarios, so... This difference is kind of... kind of welcome. Albeit perhaps a cost-saving measure for an indie developer to not have to make a character creator. Was it chicken? I heard chicken. Why did I hear chicken? That was a weird moment. So there's our way out. Oh, another corpse. A bit curious what we can find around here, though. Is, can I go up here, or is this going to be locked, too? Kind of get the feeling we might revisit this place, depending on what they allow, allow me to do around here. To have died from reading that book. Who knew reading was fatal to goblins? <laughs> Who knew that reading was fatal to goblins? The Book of Summoning Wishes. This book is written in the goblin language and is impossible to understand. You can make out the words wish and meat amongst the scribbling. And now it is mine. I have picked up the evil chicken. And now I am in danger. Terrible. Terrible danger. Uh, let's pick the character most adjacent to our melee character so we can double strike him. Nope. You go after this chicken and double strike this chicken. Good. There we go. We'll be fine. They're just chickens. What could go wrong? Aside from perhaps literally everything, but you know. We'll see. There we go. Alright. So, little. <laughs> my uh, earlier. Would be this bloody? My earlier mention of uh, Divinity Original Sin may have not been entirely crazy, because we're fighting comedy monsters already. It's gonna be one of those. Alright. Well, I have the book with me now. So maybe I can get translated some at some point, or it's Wonder supposed to be of summoning. Altar of the White. I can't use that. I wonder if I can put something on an altar. That's generally what altars do, is you put things on them. Spider silk, you're white. No. Not quite. Okay, uh, embalming tool. What about that book? Key items. Book of Summoning Wishes. Nope. Alright, interesting detail. So we found the Book of the White and the Book of the Blue. I mean the Altar of White and Altar of Blue. We'll have to see if we can find a purpose for those. 